Can probiotic supplements improve muscle strength and muscle hypertrophy? Some people say yes. Let's look at the proof. So here's the study everyone's talking about. The impact of probiotics on muscle mass, muscle strength, and lean mass, a systematic review and meta-analysis. 24 clinical trials are analyzed. They involve men and women, younger than 50, older than 50, both recreationally trained individuals and athletes. Of the 24 trials that were analyzed, six of these clinical trials indicated that probiotic supplements led to significant improvements in global strength and some of these studies appear to show that that strength led to meaningful improvements in daily life activities. For example, in this paper, older folks with chronic heart failure who took probiotic supplements for 12 weeks saw significant improvements in their hand grip strength. Improved grip strength could make it easier for people to open jars and may even make it easier for people to get out of a chair as well. Here's another paper involving frail older adults showing that probiotic supplements also improved hand grip strength as well. Here's a paper involving recreationally trained men where a combination of probiotics and whey protein improve one repetition maximum lifts on the leg press, deadlift, and bench press. And for clarity, this combination improved strength by about 10 to 15 percent, and the improvements were deemed to be significantly better than those who took placebos. And here's a paper involving college-age soccer and volleyball players where probiotic supplements taken daily for 10 weeks improved strength in the bench press, squat, and deadlift as well, more so than those who took placebos. Now these are pretty interesting results. I will point out that the benefits of probiotic supplements on strength appear to be better in those who are older compared to those who are younger. For example, depending on what study you look at, the improvements in strength from probiotics could range anywhere from maybe 15 to about 25% in younger people versus up to 30% in older folks. And by the way, they are defining older as anyone over the age of 50. Okay, so what kind of dosages are we looking at here? So the amounts of probiotic supplements that were taken were kind of all over the place and they ranged anywhere from about 10 billion colony forming units a day, all the way up to 100 billion colony forming units per day. And in case you're wondering, these benefits did not occur overnight or even over a week or even over a month. If these results are to be believed, it would take at least three months to see significant improvements in muscle mass and muscle strength. Now it's worth repeating and I'll say it a little differently here. If we're talking strength, it appears that probiotic supplements have a greater strength improvement in those who are older, again, over the age of 50. If, on the other hand, we're talking muscle mass, then it seems that younger people may have the benefit there. Now, what I like about this review is that no conflict of interest were reported by the researchers. In other words, neither Big Pharma or Big Probiotic appeared to have their fingers in any of the research that was done here. Having said that, it's also pointed out that some some of the clinical trials that were evaluated had some issues. They could have been done better. For example, some of them may have had some problems with their randomization process, or maybe they weren't blinded properly. So take that for what it is, and it's why I'm going to suggest that more research is necessary to get to the bottom of this. And the other issue I identified is that of the 24 studies that were evaluated, only seven of them identified the exact strain of probiotics that were being used. Now, if we really want to get specific here, bacteria technically have three names. There's a genus, species, and strain, where the strain of the bacteria is the exact type of bacteria that is being used, and only seven of these studies identified the strains of the bacteria. Now, I know what you're thinking. What strains of bacteria have been shown to improve muscle mass and muscle strength? Here is a table that identifies the strains that were shown to improve muscle mass, muscle strength in older and younger adults. Looking at this table, one strain in particular jumps out at me, and that's Bacillus subtilis, DE111. I previously did a video on Bacillus subtilis, and I'm going to link to that video below so you can see more about that research. The other good news about this research is that in none of the studies were any significant side effects reported, and the probiotics were well tolerated in both men and women. So this research is very interesting. However, I do want to pump the brakes for a moment and point out that the results that are being shown here are mild to moderate. In other words, nobody's going to go from being a couch potato to a bodybuilder or an Olympian overnight with this stuff. And also remember, if you're going to try this for yourself, it's going to take at least three months of daily use before you would see any significant effects. If you have tried probiotic supplements and the strains that I've outlined here, do leave a comment below and let me know what happened because I'm absolutely curious about this.